I am Everett Vanchelt. I'm going to walk you around, point out some of the components on section command uh, that is tied into the activation section control and automatically turns on and off our seed um, to our 1890 drill. So on the back side of our meters, you will notice we have this valve block assembly mounted here. And we can have up to, to eight primaries on this. Um, right here we've got, if you look in here, we've got actuators that when actuated, they slide in and shut the gates on our, our meters. You can have a hydraulic drive cart that does not have section command on it. Um, so just because you have a hydraulic drive cart does not mean you're going to have section command. It is uh, an option on that. But if you do, this is the component that turns the seed on and off. So gate closed, gate open. And this is what opens and closes your gate. It's controlled by these actuators on the back. This is your section command and it just pushes these gates open and close. So we want to make sure this, this meter is clean and in good working order. That's the hardware on the drill. I will take you up into the cab and I'll show you on the monitor um, how section control and section command talk to each other. Okay, so when looking at the main run page on our air cart, there's a hidden key if you hold button F, the actual air cart, it brings up your section command page and you can turn on and off sections on the cart. Uh, we've got our rear tank enabled and our front tank is not. Um, you can turn them all on. You can use these arrows at the bottom to turn those on and off. If you're having issues, um, you can use this. Um, to make sure your actuators are opening and closing on, on the gates in the meter, as well as if you go into button J, Diagnostics, we have some tests. So we've got some voltage here on pressure, your top and bottom lamps here on the front of the cart. Um, tire speed, fan speed, tank level inputs, if one of those isn't working. Um, hydraulic maintenance, we can uh, run a motor flush, uh, maybe if we've replaced a motor. Um, as well as we've got our section command diagnostics. So you can sit here and tell your front and rear tank and which meter, so left to right on your tool. You can turn all on, all off. If somebody's back there watching, they'll see them or hear them click and you know that they're they're working. You can test them that way. So that is the section command which then is controlled by your activation in your monitor your section control activation. So we can come in and set our turn on, turn off times, um, as well as our overlap settings. On a Gen 4, this would be under our premium activation. So they go hand in hand to turn the seed on and off automatically. I hope the videos that we provided you today was some help to you. If you have any more questions, please contact your local landmark dealer.